Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman, and today we got Graham Smith with us of Smith Shapes. And Graham, let's talk about the goldfish. First of all, where did the name come from? Well, basically, this goldfish was developed off one of my old 1979 boards, surfed in the SA Champs back in South Africa, Cape Town. And Geordie's looking at it and saying, Dad, we've got to reinvent this thing. You've got to do something with this board. And I said, well, what, do you, what would you like to do? He said, well, make me one. Make me something along the lines of what this is. So we made them like a, a 6 a little bit more refined than what this model is, this one is here. Uh, not so wide and the lead is not so big or, or not, you know, the, the volume not as much. And then um, we took it down to lowers and he wrote it down in lowers and he said, oh my God, this thing, this thing is golden. This thing is golden, you know. Hence the name, we called it the goldfish. So that's how that we developed this. So basically it's, um, it's quite a flat rocker, but my whole vision was to give it a little bit more nose lift. We kind of don't like boards, well I don't like boards particular, nor does Geordie that they're really flat. He prefers them to be, have a little bit more nose, you know, like a neutral rocker, but a little bit of a nose uh, lift in it, you know. And uh, it's flattish through the tail section, there's a nice slight double going through the back. It's quite deep, the V is pretty deep. The, the V goes right through the whole bottom. It lets water through easily. Uh, a little bit of a V off the tail. It allows you to just roll the rail over better, you know, on the tail. The rails are really soft up front, so you don't catch, especially when they're wider, because your stance is right around about here, and you've got all this area to try and push it over. So we roll them over so that they can actually bury them a lot quicker. We've stuck to this basically with a a thruster setup, we found it actually works better. The longer goldfish, we've actually made it into a, a quad spin setup, but uh, we feel that this works definitely better as a thruster setup. You can pull it around a lot easier. We surf it in South Africa, a lot of beach breaks, you know, in Durban, and Geordie's found that it's really nice and loose and um, a lot of punch behind the board, basically. Uh, the swallows are not too relatively deep. They're quite shallow, a uh, two and a half inch swallow. It allows, the, the, when you put pressure on the tail, the, the tail drops, allows the water to, to come through, lifts the nose, and it actually shortens the arc. So that's what this does, basically. Apart from that, they're nice and drivey, pretty boxy in the tail, but round, not square box. And then flows off the tail, basically just adding a little bit more release, not so much drag. And that's what this is, basically the goldfish. So Graham, let me uh, throw some stuff in. I've had a few sessions on this board. The first time I rode it, I rode it twin plus trailer and it felt uh, loose, but it mm. kind of like not a lot of, not as much drive as I wanted, you know, and almost like a little bit too loose. So you're thinking thruster better, yeah? Than, than the twin plus trailer or maybe 100%. just bigger or just bigger twin plus bigger trailer? Bigger twins, maybe. I'd say, plus trailer, but um, it just gets too skatey. Okay. You're going to try and avoid the skate. So Geordie, I kind of insisted that everyone had it or tries to ride it as a proper, proper thruster. thruster setup. You okay. know? And you can go for large fins. You don't have to go for short, small fins or medium fins or whatever. Um, the large fins definitely, this takes large fins. And so on, on this thruster setup, because on a lot of boards like this style, they're kind of closing the cluster, you know, because exactly. it's meant for a twin plus trailer. Like yeah. what's the spread on these boxes? Is it thruster spread? Well, as it's, it's thruster spread, okay. direct thruster spread. Okay. For sure, definitely. I mean, although the tail's wider, if it's going to be a more performance and it's a custom order, we'll squeeze it, the tail in a little bit, you know, okay. but, but a stock performance uh, goldfish, the tendency is to give the, the, the opportunity for someone to ride it and just feel the looseness, you know, basically, and they, we insist that they have actually a large fins, for okay. sure, definitely. Yeah, so when we switch them over, we switch them. These are the uh, the vapors, the future vapors, the, R, the R8s. Exactly. And uh, that seemed to be a good match for the board. The uh, I mean, I hear what you're saying, like with turning it, you know, like with uh, uh, with the thrusters giving yeah. you something more to pivot off of, because this thing has so much speed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't really need to be making more speed on it. No. You need to be turning it. You need more. control. Yeah. As you're getting up to speed, you want control, basically. And I mean, if you're going to go out onto the flats, and you're going to try and turn it, and you've got a twin fin stabilizer, the tail will drift out. Right, You know right. what I'm saying? Opposed to having a little bit more area on the back fin, it'll definitely bite and push back so you can actually control the board a bit easier. I mean, the thing that I noticed on this board is uh, 
just how easy it paddled. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this thing flies through the water. I mean, even even uh, more than a lot of boards that are like a foot longer than it. Like, I mean, it was Keenan came over. He was just mm. like, you're paddling faster on that thing than you were on a board like a foot a foot longer. Longer, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, the other thing I think is like a lot of times people are looking at like classic looking fishes mm. like this and they can't see the subtle differences. The uh, the nose on this board is like def it's definitely not. Uh, like a retro nose. No, no. You know, no, it's no. really, it's thinned out all the way to the front. Exactly. It's got a little bit of yeah. flip up front. Uh, so, because I mean, you wouldn't necessarily think of a, a fish like being good, like in a punchy exactly. beach break, you know, just because the board's so flat. Yeah. Well, hence, we come back to the same equation that Jordy jumped on it and right. he wanted us to kind of gauge it around him, develop it around him, and then just grow it longer, slightly thicker, more, you know, more chunkier, carry the volume through the nose give it momentum, you know, when you push your volume through the nose area. And, and what, to paddle in, you know. What about uh, keels? Is anybody fooling around with keels on this they thing? They are. I mean, everyone's going to have their own version of how they like to ride it, you know. Um, but I feel with the keel, you're obviously going to either have to have a stabilizer, I think, unless the keel's really, really way back. Really way back. Right. They've, it's got the cutaway in the keel. And there's actually quite a variety of keels out right. there that you could actually test it on. So you want to look, yeah. if you're going to keel it up, you want to look for something that hangs way back. Exactly. Over, for just sure. gets the, the center of the fin back like to where it needs to be if you're not going to have that back definitely, fin. Definitely, definitely. So, I mean, like for what we were surfing today, like kind of like that A-frame mm. beach break stuff, like where you want to like just keep it tight in the pocket, the thruster setup, definitely better. Like maybe more point break style, you think in the, like the twin plus trailer or the keels or just kind of just fool around with it, see what you like best. No, I think, I, I mean, you can definitely go with a, a twin fin plus trailer. Uh, down the line surfing I think because you're not pulling it back as much you're more trimming off the top off the bottom trimming off you're keeping more or less in a lateral uh, direction opposed to beach break everything is pulling back into the pocket right you know? right right the wave tapers down and then you want to do a little hop skip and jump you know a little kind of re-entry on the white water or something opposed to if it's down the line like uh, Malibu or, or Rincon or something like that you know right right and so we've had a bunch of people tripping out on uh the finish work on this one. So can you tell us what's going on here? Because there's a lot of different yeah. stuff going on between the bottom and the yeah. top. And is it a spray? Is it a resin tint? Like what, yeah. what is this? Well, it's basically two in one. We've got a, a resin tint on top and then we've done a spray over that. But before we actually glass the last layer over it. Okay. So it's a two process basically. So we have a tinted top deck and then we spray it and then we glass a clear wrap. Okay. Tight, clear wrap around it, put the logos on and what have you, so that we don't burn through all this. It's under the glass. Right, and right. I mean, it's a long process, but it's, look at the result. In other no, words, the thing's result in, in beautiful. Looks, everyone's yeah. going, wow, how do you do this? Where is this coming about? So yeah, yeah. We're just trying to find a point of difference with these kind of boards because we know that we want them to look sexy, basically, yeah. you know. And then the bottom, as you said, we've, we've kind of, a little bit of an artist impression on the bottom, you know, a little bit more handwork, right. pulling it through, trying to make a, a point of difference with just not giving a single color. Although we've tinted the bottom, so we've done the artwork on first, and then we've tinted the bottom over on the top art, of that. On yeah. top of that. Yeah, so it's yeah. a two process, you know. So there's three processes in this doing the bottom, the wrap, trimming spraying the top and then putting a clear glass over it i mean i think on like you know the shortboards like a high performance shortboard those most of those are clear you know oh, no, but in fish yeah. like a, the majority of them have color in them you know so it's cool to see you guys doing like putting you know that much into this one and then even just some of the more simple rail sprays and stuff with the different colors are oh, no, really sure. really cool looking look we're trying to get a it's not really a point of difference i just think it's personalized you yeah, know? yeah and someone comes in they see a light blue light green a bit of orange uh, earthy colors. It's definitely going, mm -hmm. the tendency is going to a bit more earthy colors, you know, mm -hmm. a bit of browns and mustardy colors, you know, they, they kind of like that. But rather than just having it plain, we're kind of just experimenting on the bottom and just to showcase the bottom a bit better. Right, right. You know? That's awesome, man. Well, hey, uh, Graham, thanks for joining us and talking about the goldfish. Uh, if any of you out there have any questions about the goldfish or want to get one ordered up, you can always call us at the shop. 252-987-6000 or look us up online realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.